Hello friends, welcome to Learn One. In previous lecture, we have learned about the introduction of exception in Ruby. And today, we will learn the theory part of handling exceptions in Ruby. In Ruby, whenever any exception occurs, it will terminate our execution of program. So, to avoid this scenario, we have to handle our exceptions in such a manner that it will not break our program execution. To handle our exceptions, we write exception handlers that will handle our code that may cause error. This exception handler will be get executed if any error or any exception occur while program execution. In Ruby, we write our block of code into begin rescue block. In this block, we write the code that may raise an error into begin and block. So this code is the code that may raise the error. We are not sure it is definitely raising the error, but there are the chances that it may raise error. And to handle this error, we write the code to handle this error into rescue block. Here in a screen, you can see I have written a block of code. In that block of code, when program execution started, I have written begin rescue block. So after the begin statement, I have written three line of code. The first line will print a message. Second line will raise the error. And the third line that is again printing the message. After this three line, I have written a rescue. This rescue is actually the block that will handle our exception. Whenever any exception occurs in between begin and rescue block, it will raise one error. And this error will be handled by this rescue block. So the code in this rescue block is get executed when any error occurs. So here I have printed one put as statement in my rescue block. And finally after this block I have written a simple put as statement. So here in the definition you will see how we can write a block of code to handle the exceptions. There are so many kinds of error that can be occurred while executing a program. Now if I want to check actually which error occurred to my program execution, whether it is a no memory limit or it is a standard error, which kind of error. So to deal with this scenario, we can fetch the class of error and its error message. Here in a screen, I have given a sample example. In this example, in the begin block, I am raising one error. And in my rescue block, I am printing out the error. I have fetched an exception class and created its object named as a E. And in my rescue block, I am printing the error message like put as e dot message. So this e dot message will print the actual error message that is causing the exception. So this is how we can handle exceptions in Ruby. In next lecture, we will see the practicals of how to handle exceptions in Ruby.